Have you ever taken an online test? You know, like the regular exams you used to do at school, but with a laptop and a broadband connection. Well, even if you haven't, you probably will, because over the last few years, online tests have become so popular that they are already as common as face-to-face -face exams, if not more. However, what you are probably not as familiar with is with proctored online tests. And that's precisely what we're gonna talk about today, the concept of online proctoring. What is it? Is it actually useful or safe? Let's find out. If you stumbled upon this video, chances are you already know a bit about proctoring. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, a proctor is someone who oversees student examinations. The concept originated in the Latin procurator, which is the name ancient Romans gave to the officials in charge of a province in the name of the emperor or the Roman senate. The idea behind online proctoring goes in a similar direction. We have all felt the nagging presence of our teacher, slowly wandering around the classroom in their cheater hunt. And some of you probably have been caught once or twice. Well, online proctoring works in a similar way, but there is no teacher. Just you, your device, and a piece of software. In the previous case, the teacher was the proctor, but now, this software will be the one monitoring you during the test. That is, an online proctoring software. So, how does proctoring work? The process is actually fairly simple. Once your proctoring software has been integrated within your learning management system, the student only needs to register and prove that they are actually going to be the one taking the test. This is done so by showing your ID and your face to the webcam. When the test begins, the proctoring software will start running and capture images or video footage of you while you do your exam. When the test ends, your teacher will get an in-depth report of all the suspicious behavior captured by the proctoring software and act accordingly. What this means is that the proctoring software will not typically block your test. Just let your supervisor know if you have done anything fishy like if there was someone else by your side while you were taking the test, if you were wearing headphones, chatting with someone else, etc. And that's it. So does proctoring actually work? Now, if you're thinking, that's a piece of cake, I'll just have someone else tell me the answers off frame, use a second monitor or open different tabs on my PC. Hold on, it's not that easy. Cheating with an online proctoring software is arguably harder than doing it in a face-to-face -face exam. Proctoring software also detects additional monitors or virtual machines. They register whether you switch tabs or open new ones. And of course, forget about someone else telling you the answers from the other room, because your audio is also being recorded. Naturally, this process raises an important question that you should definitely consider when choosing a good online proctoring software, and that is, how is my data being treated? Is it safe to use a proctoring software? Many first-time users feel uncomfortable about someone else taking footage of them while doing the exam, and no wonder. You should be extremely cautious about sharing your data or image online. The key aspect here is choosing an online proctoring software that complies with data protection laws, such as the GDPR in Europe or the CCPA in the US. Okay, so that's good and all, but why should you choose proctoring over face-to-face -face exams? These would be our top three reasons. It's just more comfortable for everybody. There are thousands of people every year taking long trips to different states or countries just to take a single exam. In 2023, this doesn't make any sense. Basically, online proctoring helps education become accessible for everyone. The second reason would be that it's just cheaper. This is especially true for massive tests. If you are a big university, for example, setting up all the materials can be quite heavy for your institution's budget. The third reason is flexibility. Online proctoring software has many different security layers depending on what resources you want to make available for your students. Do you want to let them watch videos or use specific websites? Everything can be tailored to your needs. And that's online proctoring in a nutshell. If you want to keep learning about proctoring, e-learning or education technology, don't forget to visit our website and stay tuned for future videos. Bye.